Hey guys, it's Justin again with another unboxing video. It's been a while, so bear with me here. Um, I've been super busy. Um, so let me pull this up a little bit so you can see the box. Uh, today we have... Boom! The uh, SD uh, Master Grade from Sun Toys. This is uh, a super deformed SD kit. Uh, but it's done in the Master Grade style with a little bit of like an RG kind of like a cross between an RG and an MG touch to it. Um, the box is pretty plain. This is just the lid. Got a little banged up in transit. As you can see, I ordered this from GundamModelCenter.com. Um, on the bottom, there's nothing. On the top and bottom, or well, yeah, on the left and right side, there are close up shots of the box art and on the top there are some QR codes so I'll put those there so you can see them if you want to go ahead and try those on your phone and they'll take you to whatever the appropriate websites are nothing on the inside and there's nothing on the uh, reverse side of the box it's just uh, a whole bunch of plain white cardboard so uh, let me make a little bit of room real quick And what did I do with that lid? I just had it. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm just going to look at the bags real quick, then we'll pop them open off camera, and I'll come back and we'll look at everything. So the first bag that you see at the top, you've got some clear bits. It's like that kind of orangey pink that Bandai uses. Uh, this might actually react under uh, a black light. I'll have to put that to the test uh, if I ever get a black light. And then some clear, like orangey yellow. Looks really nice. Next, we've got a whole ton more of these uh, these beam saber and effect parts, uh, thruster parts, things like that. Lots of those. And then we get into some other stuff. So this is uh, this is like a dark, dark gray. Um, and this is pretty much just hands. Uh, there's a bunch of hand plates. There's just a full set of hands. These look to be about high grade sized, maybe a tiny bit larger. So, they look nice though. The detail is very crisp. Um, so, we'll see what it's like when I get in there. Uh, next, we've got two S runners, which curiously enough has uh, duplicates for the backpack. Uh, but you're going to see some shoulder bits and stuff like here. Um, so, pretty neat. And this is where most of your excitement is going to come from. Uh, there's the shield, uh, another white runner, and then a yellow and a blue runner. I imagine that this is all the chest and this is all the yellow for the whole kit. Um, again, everything looks really nice, really sharp. Uh, I don't see, like, I don't even see any, like, mold lines or anything on any of this. So I'm actually really excited to, to put this together. And again, more white. Uh, looks like we get two bazookas. Interesting. Um, and then more runners for like skirts and legs and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we've got the inner frame for the head and a bunch of other good stuff. These are all molded in gray. There's a very large space here for some unknown reason. And it looks like I might be missing a piece. Unless that's it. That's probably it. Um, and then the red parts for the shield and um, the legs, the waist, and the face mask, a couple of other miscellaneous details. Uh, I did just find out that this also apparently makes the origin version of the Arx as well, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know if that was a custom build or not, but it looks, by the looks of these little rocket pieces, uh, you can make the origin version as well as the kind of more 3.0 style version. Next, we've got a plethora of um, these almost black parts. They're, they're, you know what? They might as well be black. They're black. Um, and these are mostly frame. There's, these are like a bunch of joints and stuff like that. That's the hip section, the waist. Uh, these look like they might be shoulder joints or leg joints or something like that. And then another incredibly large tray of parts. Uh, this is VOH. Um, 
yeah. And then Q on the other side, H, O, and V again. So you get a ton of runners in, in two on these two. Um, and again, it's the same kind of gray. I'm going to get two beam rifles. That's really neat. Uh, so two bazookas, two beam rifles, lots and lots of joints, lots of detail pieces. Um, this is already looking like it's worth my money. And that's my favorite thing. Um, hmm, I thought that was... Okay. So you also get um, an action base, which looks really cool, actually. Um, well, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has got a ton of little, like, attachment points to it and a bunch of, like, anchor points. Uh, I haven't seen any pictures of the base. I don't know if this is the one they used in the promotional images or not. I can't remember. Uh, but it looks basically from the some of these pieces, it looks like it's kind of like a scaled down version of the uh, Action Base 1, I think is the big one. Uh, but with a nicer base, no uh, weird detail all over it. So you can kind of do your own thing or you can leave it alone, whatever you feel like doing or not doing. Uh, now I don't know if this is a if this is a defect or not, but I got another one of these, uh, so another L runner. And then last but not least, we have a sheet of poly caps, which this is probably going to be my biggest gripe with this kit. I imagine these are going to be awful. They don't look super great. Uh, there's a little bit of flash on the inside of that one. I don't know if you can see that or not. I know you can't see through it as much as the one above it. These are the same poly cap, so. Uh, not a huge deal. I can fix that no problem. Uh, but I am worried about their quality. So we'll see when I get to building it. Uh, you get a wonderful, wonderful sheet of water slide decals. This is the best thing that third party does that Bandai just, for some ungodly reason, refuses to do. Um, is they don't put water slides in standard releases. Yeah, but they seem to do it for every other line that they have. Like <laughs> Star Wars comes with stickers and water slides at no additional cost, and I can't figure out why. Uh, well, I know why. Uh, it's because people will buy them at an additional charge. So, uh, they look really nice, very crisp. They're all pre-cut. Um, they're even, to some degree, legible. So that's really nice. Big fan of that. Um, hopefully they come off the paper really well. That's that's another thing about water slides is some companies just don't coat them right or something like that. Uh, so we'll flip through the instructions real quick. I'll make a break and we'll look at the runners individually. So here is the front of the instruction manual. You get a really cool shot of the mobile suit completed. And on the back it just says Super Deformed Master Grade RX-78 II from Sun Tools. So, uh, I'm already impressed. Um, I really, really hope to see more of these. Oh, okay, so this is actually just, it looks like it's just the Origin version. Um, or it's somewhere between the 3.0 and the Origin version, which means that there might be a piece that covers the shoulder up, the other shoulder. Uh, but there's a black version as well as a white version. I'm not really into the edgy kind of black thing, like black and red, but it doesn't look bad. I, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, but I'm probably going to paint it in OG colors, or I might even paint it in, like, G3 colors or real-type colors. I don't know yet. Uh, maybe I'll have a poll for that. Uh, but again, uh, you open it up, and there is a really nice shot of, uh, you know, one half armored up, the other half. You can see the frame, and then some detail shots. And then we go straight into construction. Uh, we get two halves for the ankles. Uh, and you start sandwiching stuff together, and then you make the leg. And it looks like this guy's going to have a ton of articulation. Uh, I'm a little concerned about this joint right here. Uh, but we'll see what happens when I get to it. This also looks a lot like the um, like the One Year War style slash 2.0 style leg. Uh, so I think that the whoever engineered this actually kind of took a lot of inspiration from that and like modified one heavily or uh, built one from scratch based on that. It looks really similar to that. Uh, the crotch piece doesn't look too familiar in terms of, I mean, it looks pretty basic, but, I mean, it's just, all that's going to do is hold your legs on, as long as there's a peg on the waist so you can uh, move your torso around. I don't think too, too many people are going to care about that. Um, there seems that there's a joint in the stomach. That's going to be nice. Uh, movable vents, that's another 2.0 slash One Year War uh, throwback. Um backpack looks pretty straightforward. 
arms again remind me of that. They actually sort of look uh, like a really simplified master grade again. Uh, so this is this is really cool. I'm really excited to put this together. Um, there's a ton of detail on this thing, and it it looks like it's going to be a blast uh, to get working on. So yeah, from the looks of things, there's no. So, okay, so there's no there's no uh, regular version. It's pretty much one year war style chest, which I didn't even catch in the promo images. Um, normally I pick up on little things like that, but uh, that's fine. I I kind of dig it. Um, and I th I think I've seen that you can mount the uh, one of the rifles or one of the bazookas to the shoulder, so that would be cool. So, there's the instructions. I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to take all the runners out of the bags, and we're going to look at each runner individually, see what we can find, what we can figure out, and we'll uh, wrap this up. Okay, we're back. And let's uh, let's go ahead and start looking at these runners and see what we got. So, uh, the first thing I can tell is that this is... Uh, this feels a little bit harder than Bandai plastic. Um, not a ton different, but uh, I think if you're somewhat familiar with Kodobukiya, I think you might know what to expect here. Uh, sorry, I just noticed that uh, the five running or five piece was missing, and if I have any <laughs> indication of what that is, I believe that it's probably the. Um, the V crest on the crotch, which would be a huge problem. Uh, so I just wanted to glance at the floor and see if that fell on the floor. I don't see it, so we'll just keep going and I'll look when I'm done. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at all these effect parts and get these all done at one time. Uh, so the first set of effect parts is the T runner. This has got two ball shaped things, a couple spikes, um, and those are for the bean javelin. And they look really cool. It's actually like it reminds me a lot of the uh, Master Grade Unicorn Psycho Frame, like that same kind of color. They really nailed it. Um, I wish I had a black light to see if it was reactive. Uh, this is a little strange. We got four Beam Saber blades for some reason. I, I think there's only two Beam Saber handles. Um, there's uh, one, two, three, five. <laughs> five thruster effect parts um, I guess you can put them in the uh, in the um, the thrusters on the backpack and the feet uh, why there's a fifth one I don't know and I don't know what these little spikes are for because I assume they were for the beam javelin but I'm beginning to think that that might not be the case so uh, I guess as I start working on oh they go inside the thrusters never mind I'm dumb so yeah that just plugs in right there just like that cool that's neat. All right. So there's two of those. Next up, we've got uh, Y1 and Y2. These are hands. Again, they look really nice. Um, it's like this is what I want from Bandai. This this is all I want from Bandai. <laughs> is like I would I would give up water slides for this. Um, give me hands that look good straight out of the box. And I don't have to buy your option parts, which also look like crap, or, you know, do anything else. Um, I have hands that are open for holding. I have trigger finger hands for uh, weapons. I have closed fists. And I have open expressive hands, as well as another set of uh, kind of like open holding hands. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five sets of hands. And, you know they look good enough that, that's all I want <laughs> so fantastic job again plastic feels a little bit hard but I don't think it'll be too hard to work with that might just be me I know some people might not be into it uh, so we got two G runners G again there's the beam javelin here there's a backpack I don't know why the backpack is molded in like a really light gray uh, unless this is like an insert and you put another piece over top uh, we'll find out um, that looks like the top of the beam saber, the shoulder, the uh, the collar for the, the ankle, um, the top of the shoulder, I'm guessing. This is the other side of the shoulder, uh, like a vent. Some of those ankle and kneecaps. Uh, part of the camera. Some other miscellaneous little bits there.
This one's gonna be easy. So let's, uh, this is the shield. This looks like maybe in. Uh, one piece, it looks really good. Um, lots of detail molded onto that. I love that they cut out these pieces uh, so that when you put the back on of, of the shield on, the back of that will stick through. So I have to make sure that I paint that. Um, the, the details look really sharp, really crisp. There's a little bit of like weird texture right in this one little spot. Uh, you can kind of almost see it. It's like right here. I don't know what that is. Um, but besides that, it looks really good. No texture, uh, not too many dips or anything like that. It just it looks nice. Uh, next, we've got two E runners. E is looking like uh, this might be an ankle. Yeah, an ankle guard. Which oh god, it plugs into the front. So yay! Uh, I don't have to do any kind of weird masking or seam removal on it. But god, it's gonna suck when it comes to posing it. I can already tell. Um, there's the top of the foot. Or is this the top of the foot? This looks like the top of the foot. This is the thigh, there's a beam saber, there's a cuff. Top of the shoulder, the forearms, the knee, uh, the thighs, or not the thighs, the calves, uh, the back of the foot. So, again, really sharp. I don't see anything wrong with it. Everything looks really nice and smooth. Um, I really hope these guys keep making kits. Because uh, right now my initial impressions are very high. Uh, I've heard a lot of mixed things about this kit online, but I think a lot of those people have not had too much third-party experience. Uh, so let's see, we've got the bazooka, which has got a really, really large um, barrel. I might like sand that down just a little bit. Uh, the body looks really nice, lots of nice detail molded in there. It's going to be fun to mask and paint that. There's two of these, um, so that's cool. And then the final white runner is, oh god, uh, the head mostly. Um, so there's the top of the head, the back of the head, the front of the, uh, I call it like the bill of the hat, the face mask, the V-fin. The V-fin looks really nice. Uh, I love that it's not like a little piece here and you have to slot the red thing over. It's actually like a piece that the red piece pegs into on two spots. That'll be really nice and secure. I can see it already. Um, the cheek armor and then the side of the head armor as well as what looks like the front and back of the waist unit. Next we've got the one and only blue runner. Um, this has got the cockpit hatch, the chest, and the back. Uh, everything looks really nice. The back looks really really plain. It's laughably plain actually. Um, like I get it, it's gonna be covered up, but it's just kind of funny seeing all these like really nicely detailed up parts. And this is just like it looks like a Lego. Um, so that's cool. And while we're at colors, we'll get the last one out of the way. This is the la or the the one and only red plate, uh, which is actually four red plates in one. So there's K, which is the front end of the shield. The back end doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna have to get rid of these poor marks. Uh, no big deal. Um, we've got the waist which comes on its own runner. Um, the rockets for the rocket launcher, not the shoulder rockets. Uh, there's the, uh, this is the crotch, this is the V-fin, this is the eyeshadow and the chin piece, and everything else is feet. Uh, again, really, really, really cool looking, really sharp. Um, painting the bottom of the feet is not gonna be a big deal. Uh, so that's gonna be really nice. Next we've got J, and it looks like my question was answered. This is a uh, overlay piece for the backpack, so you can lay that gray piece down, you put this one on top of that, and it's going to show some color through uh, down here and through these little minus mold details. There's the neck. Uh, I don't know what this is. That's a really odd looking joint. Um, these look like vents and things like that. Um, so this is where I'm going to start getting lost, is because there's a lot of these weird, like, um, what would they, they'd be like uh, like joint pieces and detail pieces and things that uh, weren't necessarily copied or anything from another kit they were just kind of engineered that way uh, this is cool the eye shadow or the the blacks of the eyes is actually its own piece so you insert the clear yellow right into this and you don't have to paint the eyes that is fantastic Bandai please take notes 
Um, so let's see, we have X1 and X2, and I believe there are two of these. I lied, there's an X2. So uh, we'll look at both of them combined. So X1 and X2. Uh, this is definitely just joints. Um, this is, again, this is the hips um, and the waist. This is looking like the stomach joint that I was telling you about. This might be like a shoulder joint. Um, but these are all like elbows and knees and the leg frame and the arm frame and stuff like that. There's some little pistons here. They're really cute. Uh, but they look really cool. Uh, there's like a lot of little details on these guys, especially this one. Um, God, this is going to be so much fun to build. Uh, I'm really excited for this. And it's been a while since I've been excited for a Gundam kit. Uh, so this is a ton of runners in one, again. So let's go ahead and get rid of one of these, and we'll put it right here. So let's see, we've got Q, which looks like the bazooka. Um, this is actually looking like mostly bazooka parts. Uh, H looks like there's a cuff. There might be something to plug like a skirt or something into. There's like a little thruster, uh, back skirt, or front skirt. One of those. Got nice detail in the back. Uh, top of the shoulder, a thruster, some other stuff. And we've got O, which is looking like it's mostly beam saber bit, or beam saber, beam rifle bits. Uh, unless this is the shoulder cannon. And then there's... I don't know what any of this stuff is. This doesn't look familiar at all. But I'm guessing it's probably a weapon of some sort. So you get a lot of extra weapons with this guy that you probably won't need. Um, oh, hey, look. Look what I found. Look at what... Wait, what is this? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. That is what I thought it was. So there's that little yellow piece for the crotch that I thought I lost. Put that in the box so I don't lose it. For real. Um... You get two eye color pieces. This is awesome. This is immense. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. This looks like it might go inside the beam rifle or the rocket thing or whatever. Um, and then this is for the eyes, definitely. This is for the beam rifle. But this looks way too big to go in the head. And it doesn't look like it sticks up in the right places. Unless, no, there's no way, because there's like these little vent things, that's not for that. This, however, is for the top of the head, you can already tell straight away. Uh, and this is for the uh, chest, so this is your uh, forehead camera and all that. A little bit of a mold line there, no big deal to fix, should be super straightforward. Um, and that is everything except for, uh, again, the poly caps, which they feel kind of crappy in hand, but... I don't care. This this kit is going to be awesome. I can't wait to put this together. So, uh, initial impressions are very high. I'm really, really, really hoping this kit is cool because um, it looks phenomenal. Um, you know, it might it looks a little bit overdone to some degree, like for a, a an SD kit. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of uh, this kind of thing. I love it. I love it to death. I can't wait to put this together. Um, hopefully you guys are excited because I do plan to review it. Uh, hopefully I can find a little bit of time this week uh, and get it up and reviewed for you guys. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Later.